All right, game three of teams. Fortunately, we get to play against Paul. And one more time with the name? Dexter. Dexter. Dexter's Paul's teammate. And what do you guys, you guys are running? So we got, um, British, Indian. British? Indian, okay. From uh, LL Main 2. Uh, what was the ridge? Hey, Paul. Like, no man. Yeah. Um, a spiel. A historical deal? Historical deal, yeah. Okay. So it's the anti tank forces that took the ridge and LL Main 2. Okay. It's Gurkhas and Indians. Okay. Um, so Sikhs, actually. Okay. Which are being represented with the Maori rules. So they're a little more dangerous. Of course, you're not. Maori rules? Okay. Um, All right. There's Paul. Hey. So we're going to push it to play each other. And it's just basically we're just trying to kill each other. Battle points. So see how it goes. <coughs> Indirect HE, which was kind of nerfed that pretty good, but we don't have shit. We don't even have a mortar. So, all right, you got to put snipers. Yeah. Well, we're starting this turn two. Start pretty much. We've got a couple. Put some shots up there. He went down. It's a desperate straits here. Put a lot of pins over here. I did a rally. I'm still surviving. My tank is taking fire like you wouldn't believe. Just avoided one shot. Firing again. There we go. Two ones in a row. Surviving, surviving, got to keep surviving. So, no, yes. IT gun at that. Oh, yeah, you stayed up, didn't you? Okay. So, I'm going to fire that. So, we've got my leadership check at nine, down to seven, back up to nine. Okay. Come up with one. Yes. Barely. So, I'm going to fire that. So, threes, threes, four, five, six. All right, surviving, staying alive. Yeah, this is, this, like I was telling these guys, this scenario, this board is great for their army with all these anti-tank guns. We, we're really just kind of bogged down. Hope We gotta hope for some luck shots and break something open. I'm not gonna, he's not gonna roll ones all day. With uh, infantry? Only seven. With the uh, uh, lieutenant observer. observer. Uh, the one that just fired the artillery guy. Uh, uh, one pin. I oh, know that's just the hit damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then now the pins. Just pins. <laughs> one pin. I called it. Oh, we're down to the last little bit here. Last turn. Oh, you guys are winning now. That turn was huge. I'm gonna kill a tank. No, he has been rolling ones like a superstar. That was a big one. We lost a big close combat in the corner. That was the time. No. No. I am not gonna kill a tank with that. Our Caperto squad didn't come in. They could have sprayed that squad, and then uh, Black. Let's test. Uh, Let's test a flamethrower on an advance, I guess. Ooh, six, so. See if I can make it. All right, end of the end of the tournament, or end of the. A lot, it's a lot more tournaments still to go. End of the teams. These guys were kicking our ass, but Paul helped us out as far as. Actually, he didn't help us at all. Just hurt you. Yeah, it gave us four points, so it ended up in a minor loss for us. Uh, a uh, minor victory for the Allied. They were really pushing for a major because they're kind of in the hunt for winning the whole thing, I believe. It was nothing that we did that changed anything. Nothing I did either. So there's a few pictures. <clears throat> explain. Uh, this is uh, the right flank. It's got a Maori squad up on that ridge. He's got a Bren uh, carrier, which is a uh, armored car with two light machine guns. Paul's giant anti-tank gun there, and a big glob of stuff on top of that hill. Uh, yeah, this map was just probably, I think, the worst map out there for us in this event. And all, uh, and then. Uh, and then we had, and then we lost the role to have to deploy first too, which hurt even more, I think. 
But yeah, they've got enough anti-tank guns to cover that entire airfield. Uh, we did not have any indirect in our army, which is, you always need to have s uh, some kind of combined arms. Even a 50-point medium mortar could have started working on those anti-tank guns. Uh, but, you know, at 500 or 800 points each, we, it's just something that we neglected to think about. It's almost like I thought Ryan would bring some, and he thought I would bring some, I think. Uh, yeah, that, uh, because I almost switched out that medium anti-tank gun tank for the Panzer A, which is, uh, the light howitzer. That would have been a little better ad, I think, in the list. Could have plumped some, uh, shots. Uh, I think we forgot a couple things in the setup as far as the, I think there was a 24 inch fog that we forgot about, and I forgot my command tank had a plus two bonus, which kind of affected on the right hand side one activation. But other than that, it was really uh, us uh, hoping that uh, the Caperto squad would come in and spray down that Maori squad and then allow my flamethrower to get up in there. Uh, the, the, the Caperto failing uh, at the critical moment to come in kind of hurt. But we took a minor loss. Uh, we did, so we got a win-win, minor loss, and... Uh, uh, so, yeah, so it's basically we're going to go to the award ceremony. And uh, the good news is that, like in the first scenario, uh, like I mentioned, out of all the matches, only three axes won. And in the second one, uh, those partisans were playing basically, they're kind of like the house army. I mean, they were trying to win, but they played them as axis in game one, and then they played them as allied in game two uh, because partisans, you know, fought whoever the hell was in their country. But, uh, so we were able to beat them, so there's only, uh, one other Axis army out there after phase one that got a win. So I was like, you know what, we could, we might, we might have a chance, uh, at, at this, uh, not overall, but, uh, because there, I don't know if there's very many soft scores, so we'll go to the award ceremony. Hi, you guys are still the best, uh, group I've ever had to go with. It's amazing. Like that, that's good to see. Uh, so, a couple of thank yous though. Obviously, Warlord, uh, the entire two rows were completely supplied by them. The other train was supplied by our uh, local team, so Jeremy Olson. flipping tables and shit like that. Uh, so, prizes though, I gotta thank, uh, again, Warlord Games. We have uh, also, who's heard of these guys? Uh, Stoessi's Heroes, I'm not pronouncing it right, maybe. Uh, he's like a sculptor out of Germany. He's amazing, uh, really unique and limited edition models. Uh, we've got Trenchworks, they have a vendor booth over there. we got some prizes, a gift card, as well as, uh, Noble Knight Games up in Wisconsin. Uh, Woo! Job yeah! Robert here for that. So some of the prizes have a little voucher. Uh, it's usable online, but you're better off probably just calling the store direct and making your order that way. Yeah. Um, okay. And we have used and new. So old stuff you might not have, you can get it there too. All right. Cool. I think I covered all the bases. So with me, everyone's here. All right. Uh, so. We've got a lot of awards. Obviously, it's team doubles, so there's two awards and two prizes per group. If you're new to the way I run events here in Chicago, you get your trophy or your award uh, in the order of our operations, and you choose a prize lot. Uh, each little pile is its own prize lot. There's some big boxes, we have small boxes, we got little things as rule books, uh, etc. Uh, so, we're not going to put an Oscar clock on you, but I ask you kind of speed it up in the order when you come up here. Uh, so, for the doubles event, we do not award an overall winner. We're encouraging uh, sportsmanship, theme, painting, a good time. If you want an overall winner, that's tomorrow and Sunday at Nationals, okay? Uh, so, with that, I do have overall rankings. Here is the first category, the, the highest award is going to be sportsmanship. We're giving out 
before you go to prizes, how about a round of applause for Jeremy? Yeah! yeah. So yeah, me and Ryan were able to get best access, uh, so it helped that the allies were stomping. You see Josh back there photobombing us. Uh, poor Josh, he always seemed like he's always not in the pictures. Uh, he's our silent partner at uh, uh, Wahoo Warrior Bolt Action Nebraska, and that's Blake over to the right laughing. Uh, yeah, Bolt Action Nebraska group uh, did it again. We got best access. Josh and Blake were able to pull... Uh, uh, best theme. They had a great theme, and I don't think I have a picture of their board, but it was a nice one, Marines and Australians. Uh, so we have pretty stoked uh, prizes. I picked, uh, Ryan snatched uh, an Armored Fury box set, which is what he was jonesing for, and Bug Eater, so now he's satisfied. And I took a Trenchworks Yog Panther. That's a big old tank, and I figured uh, I just kind of wanted it. It's something I wouldn't buy, but uh, now that I have it, I want to try to use it somewhere. So here's the winning uh, guys from Bolt Action Nebraska. Uh, me and Ryan and Blake there next to me and then Josh. So job well done. We got some loot. Uh, we were able to get some prizes. Uh, great event. You can tell if you guys watch the video there with Jeremy. Jeremy is a top-notch uh, tournament organizer. Uh, if I wasn't married already, I'd try to get him to plan my wedding, I think. Uh, it'd be a lot more fun than it was, I'll bet you that. But uh, the tournament scene in Chicago, I think uh, him and Seamus and uh, some other tournament organizers uh, who ran Operation Sting, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Great guy, I talked to him, he was playing here today. But uh, uh, they kind of set the tone and it kind of permeates down into the field. Where, where we're looking for, they're looking for those those soft scores, theme scores, battle points, friendliness. Uh, many, many, many of us have come from other game systems where it's a little more cutthroat, and we didn't enjoy it. Uh, we want our, uh, uh, we want to have a nice experience. We want to have fun. Basically, creating many little uh, movies of World War II on the table while we're playing. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's a great event. Thanks to Jeremy so much. Uh, he's also running nationals in the next two days, and I'll start working on those videos. Uh, if you ever have a chance to go to an event and, the, and uh, you're torn between where you're going to want to spend your dollars to go, you know, Adepticon is just a giant thing anyway. 
But any event that Jeremy is running, I'd highly recommend, or the Chicago area for that matter. Uh, great people, great armies, great diversity. There's so many different kinds of armies. So very happy, very happy with our results. So get you to uh, the U.S. Nationals. Try to get some of those videos up. Uh, maybe uh, get show you some of the armies. I didn't do a very good job. I did run around and take a bunch of pictures, but uh, at least you can see what people are taking to Nationals.